Good morning. God bless you. San Antonio, surrounding areas, those of you may be uh, listening to this message on this Tuesday morning. Thank you for joining in. I'm going to say a word of prayer and then we'll get started. Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for how you blessed us through January and February and brought us to this month of March. We give you glory. We give you praise. Let the word go forth today and touch and encourage somebody. In Jesus' name, amen. I thank God for each of you that join in Tuesday after Tuesday. Uh, pray God's blessings upon you. And uh, thank God for March the 1st. God is really just moving along in this year 2022. There are many things that we have been faced with, challenged with. Uh, but I thank God that God is right there. He's with us. He's a very present help. Present. He's present in our time of need, in our time of trouble, and in our time of despair. I thank God for the word of God uh, that we shared with the people of God on this past Sunday. No more bondage. And I think it's so important for us to not carry the baggage around with us. Uh, especially as children of God, you know, we have to learn how to release uh, uh, ourselves of all of that excess baggage. Bible tells us, you know, that we are to lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily besets us, you know, the sin that holds us back and weights us down. We need to let that go. I want to talk to you today from uh, 1 Peter, the fifth chapter. And I'm just going to read a few verses uh, from 1 Peter, the first chapter, on this morning. And I want to talk about release, release, and how important it is for us to release uh, ourselves of the burdens that we carry around with us day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. When will we finally let those things go? let some people go, you know, that's holding us back, that's keeping us uh, from going to the next level in our walk and relationship with Christ Jesus. I believe that David said in Psalms 51 and 10, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me, a right spirit. Now, once your spirit is right, you know, once you are thinking right, then you'll be able to make some proper decisions and do what's right. You know, I'm just a man of the word. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 lets us know that we're to trust in the Lord with all of our heart. Lean not to our own understanding, but in all of our ways, we acknowledge him and he shall direct our path. If we allow the Lord to order our steps day by day, if we allow him to have control of everything and us not trying to continue to hold on uh, to the reins and guide our path, then we'll be free. We'll be free to, to do some things uh, that God has called us to do without the excess baggage, the excess weight, and the wearisome uh, burdens that the devil seems to always want to load you up with. We have to let it go. Let it go and move forward in the Lord. Philippians said that, you know, we have to forget those things that are behind us, you know, forgetting those things that are in the past. And we press forward. We're moving forward. We're pressing towards the mark of the high calling that's in Christ Jesus. He has a calling, a higher calling for us, and we have to be willing to accept the challenge. Scripture that I quote quite often, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. You let those things go in the past, the past worries, the past problems, the past issues. You let those things go. You release those things. You release those things because the devil wants to keep you burdened down. He wants to keep you uh, full of doubt and full of worry and full of anxiety. He wants to keep you in that state of mind. But my word for you today is let it go, 
Release, release, release it, release it. Don't hold on to it any longer. Don't let another day go by. I know that we can go to God, we can talk to God, and God will, he will, he will, he will unload those heavy burdens from us. In 1 Peter, the fifth chapter, where I'll be reading from on today, and I'm just going to read a few verses. It says, the elders which are among you, I exhort, whom am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God. This is to Christian leadership. Feed the flock of God, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. What we do is not for income, but it's for an outcome. What we do is for uh, the production and the extension of, of, of the, the, the mind and the heart of God. We are ambassadors for Christ, all of us, ministry or otherwise, lay person, we are ambassadors for Christ, and it's, uh, uh, it's upon us and incumbent upon us to make sure that we share the word of God, that we get the word out, that people can know what the truth is. And Jesus said that he was the truth, and the truth will make you free. So we need to know who Jesus is. We need to know and we need to let others know who Jesus is. Verse 3 says, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. There's a reward for us. You know, Romans 6 and 23 says that the wages of sin is death. The price tag or the payday that you're going to get for living a sinful lifestyle is death, spiritual death. But the gift that God has for each and every one of us that serves him faithfully is eternal life with the Father in heaven, in paradise. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. For God resisted the proud and giveth grace to the humble. He resisted the proud and giveth grace to the humble. So let's not have an arrogant uh, attitude or demeanor when we talk, you know, because we are a chosen generation and because we are saved, uh, you know, let's not just consider ourselves or think that we're better than anybody else. We need to share the word. We need to let people know what we have experienced, share that with them and let them know. But we need to make sure that we release uh, ourselves of the worries and the problems that we have, because how can you help anybody? How can you give anybody else a hand up if you still have your hands out? We have to make sure that we are fully committed to the things of God, that we are sold out. So be humble. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. The time is coming. A time is coming for your promotion, for your elevation, for your recognition. But we don't have to force the issue. We don't have to try to knock anybody down uh, to make sure that we uh, are seen and that we get up. But let's be humble in our endeavor. God sees us. He knows your name. He knows where you are. All you have to do is just stay faithful to the things of God. And here is my key verse that I want to share with you today, considering and talking about the topic or the, or the word of encouragement today, release, release. Verse seven says, casting all your care upon him, all of your care, all of your weary, cast it upon him because he cares for you. He cares for you. He cares for me. He cares for his children. So cast your cares upon him. The devil would want you to think and have you saying that God has forgotten you. 
that God is mad at you, that God doesn't love you. But that's a lie from the pit of hell. Don't allow the devil to infiltrate and, and, and speak to your mind. The warfare that we are engaged in is a mental warfare. It's a spiritual warfare. And the battleground is in our mind. So we have to make sure that we keep our minds stayed on the Lord. Isaiah 26 and 3 says those that uh, keep their minds stayed on the Lord, he will keep them in perfect peace. So let's experience the peace of God today. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts, your mind, and your body. This body that we have is the temple of the Holy Ghost. It's the temple of the Holy Ghost. Let's let the Lord reign supreme in our bodies. I thank God for his word today. I want you to know that God wants you to release you need to release some people. You need to release some pressure. You need to release uh, some problems that you have held on to, that you have carried all of your life, even over into salvation. Release it and let the Lord minister to you. I thank God for the word today. I'm going to stop right there. I praise God for this week. I thank God for this new month that he has blessed us to cross over into. Many people that started out the year did not make it this far. So let's give God praise. Let's be thankful and let's give him the glory and the honor that's due unto his great name. Release some things out of your life today so that you can live free, that you can live a spiritual life filled with the enhancements and the glory and the praises that God wants us to uh, to give back to him because praise is what we do. God loves you. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. We'll see you next Tuesday if the Lord bless and says the same. Be blessed this week.